Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another free Sage video. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the ratio feature on Sage 50 Cloud and Sage 50 Accounts. So to access the ratio feature, we go to nominal codes here. And it should show at the top of this list. So we have ratio. If it's not showing, just right click. It could be that it's been unticked and has been hidden. So just right click and tick on ratio. It should then show. What is the ratio feature? How is the ratio feature used and how do you change the information that shows on the ratio feature? I'll cover all those items in this brief video. So what is the ratio feature? If I click on ratio, we have a list of nominal codes appear, the debit and credit balance on those codes. We have a delete icon and a print icon. So what is the ratio feature? The ratio feature is part of financial analysis. Running the ratio feature will give you a quick ratio figure. Put in layman terms, it compares short-term cash to short-term liabilities. It gives you a ratio of a positive figure or a negative figure of cash against liabilities. This is short-term cash against short-term liabilities. So things included on the ratio feature should be items like bank accounts that have a positive balance, savings accounts, petty cash accounts, sales accounts such as debtors control accounts they're generally the only items that would appear so liquid assets that is cash or debt that could quickly be turned into cash such as invoices outstanding with with uh, customers short-term liabilities are things that are appearing on this list so perhaps VAT liability money that we owe to suppliers loan repayments, credit card balances. We have a credit card somewhere on here. Here we go, company credit card. Any short-term liabilities should also appear on this list. Hopefully that helps you to understand what the ratio feature is, what it does, what quick ratio is. To edit this list, we simply just click the delete button once we have clicked on an account. So if we don't want a crawl showing, we can just click delete and get rid of a crawls and it won't appear as part of our ratio report and our quick ratio um, figure. Discounts taken, let's get rid of that one. We have a suspense account, let's say we want to get rid of that. If there's any accounts we want to add, we simply go to the bottom here and just type in the code and then we can add that code, such as 7,100 rent to the ratio analysis. So if I click on print now, what we will have is all of our debit entries on one side and all of our credit. The credit is the money that we owe, so the short term liabilities. The debit is the available cash. So we have debtors control account, we have a bank deposit account. This bank current account is a credit because it's in overdraft by £20,000, euros, dollars. We have sales, tax control accounts, VAT liability accounts. So this is the report that it would generate. And we have our quick ratio figure down the bottom here. So our debits are bigger by our credits by £45,000. So meaning that there's £45,000 available is £45,000 above what is owed with liabilities. But we're talking about short term here, our short term cash against our short term liabilities. So we have £45,000 surplus. We can meet our short term liabilities and still have £45,000 left over. Hopefully this video has helped. If you have any questions about this, feel free to use the comment section below on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and please watch more of these videos.